hello everyone welcome to virtue auto's channel today is vlogmas day one wow vlogmas is here and i intend to upload 25 videos from now till the 25th of december i need your support please watch my videos and my ads share my videos with your loved ones and you will surely enjoy the vibe Today we are diving into the world of homemade goodness with super easy and an affordable recipe, a no-bake granola recipe. You don't need an oven and trust me, the aroma alone is worth the watch. But here's the best part. It's not just delicious, it's a fantastic option for business owners who are looking to maximize profits and you don't need so much ingredients for this so let's jump right into it for this granola recipe we just need oats coconut cashew nuts vegetable oil honey cinnamon and some mixed fruits for the coconuts i used fresh coconut and i had to cut them into flakes like flatter shapes feel free to use shredded coconuts or also you can buy already made dried coconut flakes you can use any one you want and it will also come out nice First, add vegetable oil, honey, and the cinnamon powder and mix it thoroughly. So next, in a bowl, add the oats, then add the cashew nuts. Usually, I leave the cashew nuts for the last after toasting the oats, but I realized that this cashew needs a little bit of toasting, so that's why I had to add it here. So if your cashew nut is already properly toasted, please leave it at last and add it together with the dried mixed fruits. So add your mixture to the oats and the cashew nuts, then mix it thoroughly before transferring it to a saucepan. Over low heat, toast this oats mixture until it is golden brown and aromatic. This step adds a nutty flavor and gives your granola that satisfying crunch that we all love. While the honey is like a glue that holds our granola together, it also adds a touch of natural sweetness to it. When choosing the oats you want to use, please always use rolled oats, not the regular oats we use for porridge because those rolled oats actually are firmer and they don't get to dissolve when you're heating it up. Make sure you also using low heat really very low heat next after toasting the oats for some time maybe for four minutes you can now introduce the coconut flakes at this point and keep toasting till everything becomes golden brown i uploaded a recipe on how you can make your homemade yogurt for those that are into parfait business or into yogurt business that recipe will be very helpful for you kindly check it out in my food and recipe playlist i'll also be uploading a video on the parfait i used this exact granola to make and i'm sure you'll be excited to see it also check that out in my food and recipe playlist I'll be uploading that very soon. 
feel free to also add a pinch of salt at this point because it would help to enhance the sweetness and it adds a perfect balance to our granola but i did not actually add salt to this particular recipe for those that intend to go into granola business or maybe parfait business this is a very good recipe for you you probably need to dry it some more if you enjoy this recipe please let me know in the comment section share it with your friends please always share my videos that is a way you can show support to this channel thank you everyone that subscribed to this channel you are also amazing Thank you also to everyone that is watching my videos. Thank you. I appreciate you all and I love you all. When the oats and the other ingredients are fully toasted, you can now bring it down. Take it away from the heat and allow it to cool down before going ahead to pour in the mixed dried fruits. So this is the point where you can introduce every other fruit you want to introduce dried fruits i mean you introduce walnuts dried mango and all that but i actually had a simple recipe in mind when creating this for business owners because we have a lot of food business owners on this community so i felt this would be a lot helpful to them so this is a simple granola recipe i'll also be uploading a parfait recipe that I used this exact granola to make. It was so yummy and nice. Trust me, you can serve this granola with yogurt. You can serve it with anything of your choice and it's really crunchy and nice. So just store it in a Ziploc bag, in a container, an airtight container and leave it in a cool dry place. You can use it whenever you want to. Friends, permit me to give you a special invitation to accept someone who will make your life so beautiful and give you ultimate peace. And this special person is Jesus Christ. Life is useless without him. Without him, life is full of chaos. He is the ultimate peace giver and helper. And if you will accept him, Please say this prayer of salvation. Lord Jesus, come into my life. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Forgive me my sins. I will serve you all the days of my life. I am born again. Congratulations. You just joined the winning team. Start attending any Bible-believing church or check the website link on the screen right now and view our services online. Thank you.